Humans have always speculated about the possibility of intelligent life on Mars. In fact, many people are of the opinion that humans would be unwise to imagine they are the only intelligent life form in the universe. Scientists have ventured into Mars to find out if there is indeed any indication of life out there. Mars is certainly not desolate. For today's title, we'll be looking at alien life forms on Mars caught by NASA. Let's begin. Huh? <laughs> Number 10. The Martian Canals Percival Lowell, a renowned 19th century astronomer, was convinced that there was not only life on Mars, but also that the life was intelligent. This being the 1800s, people must have looked at him askance. Lowell persisted that the inhabitants of Mars built cities and a complex system of canals that routed water from Mars's polar ice caps to distribute it to the city dwellers. However, despite popularizing the idea of canals on Mars, it was Giovanni Schiaparelli, an Italian astronomer, who, in the 1870s, proposed the idea of Martian canals. The press, as sensational then as it is today, gleefully reported Lowell's views and canal media began in earnest. More than 400 canals were reported by Lowell by 1910. The canals averaged a length of 1,500 miles. He wrote credible articles about the atmosphere on the planet and explained in detail how the canals distributed water from the polar caps to irrigate Mars, then evaporation would occur and return the moisture to the poles. Lowell's views made sense to the evolutionists who believed Mars was an old dying planet trying to salvage itself by cyclopean engineering. In a land of canals, Lowell's notions were not far-fetched. Unsurprisingly, he was thought to be voyeuristic and be possessed by imaginative notions where the Martians were concerned. He was, it was believed, disillusioned with wars and fleeting democracy and found relief in his Martian theories. Number 9. First Photos of Mars the NASA probe Mariner flew by Mars in 1965 and took the first photos of the red planet. The photographs showed a dry and dusty surface instead of the anticipated rivers and seas. It must have been a disappointment for the scientists who hoped to prove that Mars was a lush planet teeming with life. They may not have found much to excite them or give them hope, but the interest in Mars did not waver. Lowell had spent years studying Mars from an observatory he funded at Ares. He had published what he observed and had sparked interest in the planet. Convinced, he saw canals on Mars and that those canals were built by intelligent beings. Number 8. First Surface Photos Viking in 1976, the first lot of landers to land on Mars sent back photos from the surface of the planet. Two probes were sent to Mars by NASA's Viking program with landers. The first vehicle made by man that landed on the surface of Mars was Viking 1. It landed on the 20th of July, 1976. Viking 2 followed close on its heels, landing on the red planet in September. It, however, did not land on the same spot as Viking 1. Number 7. Curious Meteorites Evidence of the presence of microorganisms was found in 1984 when a Martian meteorite was discovered in Antarctica. The meteorite had traces of a mineral called magnetite, which, on Earth, this chemical is associated with the presence of microorganisms. Experts believe the meteorite formed on Mars approximately 16 million years ago and found its way to Earth about 13,000 years ago. Incredible rumors, but there's more. There were carbonate materials found on the meteorite, which indicated the presence presence of liquid water during formation. In addition, there were small structures inside the meteorites. Some scientists believed them to be fossilized nanobacteria, although there is a faction that disputes this notion. These indicate that there just might be life on Mars, possibly even more advanced than bacteria. Number 6. The Pathfinder Finds Pebbles NASA's Sojourner was the first rover sent to Mars. It was part of the Mars Pathfinder mission and included Pathfinder, a stationary lander. This rover completed what is even today considered the most sophisticated studies of Martian geography. It may not have found a direct indication of life on the red planet, but there were pebbles and cobbles at the landing site. This was evidence that there may have been running water in the past when the planet was warmer. The Pathfinder was tracked by radio and it provided the exact measure of its position. It also showed Mars's pole rotation. 
The dust was magnetic, which suggests the presence of maghemite, a form of iron chloride which is extremely magnetic. Martian water cycles in the past may have caused the iron to percolate from materials in the crust. There were also dust devils which were measured often by temperature, pressure sensors, as well as wind. In the lower atmosphere, early morning water ice clouds could be seen. The temperature was constantly changing as recorded in the morning, suggesting that Mars's atmosphere is warmed by the surface. Number 5. Evidence of Water Spirit and Opportunity, NASA's twin Mars exploration rovers, landed in January 2004. They were able to find evidence of the water in the past within a few months of landing. Opportunity came across precise rock patterns inside a crater. These patterns were a clear indication that water flowed there in the past. There were also chemicals close by which were evidence of a saltwater seashore. The project manager on the Opportunity mission was called John Callis. He talked about a dust cloud that was so dense that it made the sky black and light could not reach Opportunity's solar panels. The spacecraft was drained of energy as a result. Callus spoke of Opportunity as one would a good friend. He talked about bonding with it as it was being assembled at the lab. It's been said before that man and machine can and do forge a bond when they work closely together. Opportunity's sojourn on Mars showed that there was once water on the red planet. This indicates that Mars was once habitable. It's very possible that there was a population of intelligent beings on the planet once. They may not have been green with compound eyes and the powers of levitation as Hollywood will have us believe, but nevertheless, the photos Opportunity showed to the world showed nothing of that world. The landscape looks dry and desolate. Number 4. Patterns on the Surface March 2006 comes around and the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter lands on the Red Planet. It takes high-resolution photos of many areas of the surface. The photos show that Mars may have been wetter than it shows now. It's interesting to note that every rover that's sent to the planet brings back evidence of water. The evidence further indicates that the patterns observed on the surface could only have been made by flowing liquid. This could either be water or carbon dioxide. The orbiter's science instruments are able to zoom in for close-up photography of the surface of Mars. They're looking for subsurface water and tracing how much dust and water are in the atmosphere. They also follow up on daily global weather. Number 3. Ice Water Under Mars Surface NASA's Phoenix spacecraft landed on Mars on the 25th of May 2008. Its mission was to find out if there was any evidence of liquid water that could have supported life on Mars. It searched around for about a month and finally reported that it had found proof of current water ice under the planet's surface. The climate on Mars has been deemed to be life-friendly. Billions of years ago, Mars had more oxygen than Earth. This means that the red planet was better suited to support life than Earth was. Number 2. Mars Science Laboratory the Mars Science Laboratory rover is NASA's most expensive project to Mars, and it was scheduled to land on the planet in August 2012. It was launched in November 2011. NASA named this one Curiosity. It was going to dig out info that all the other rovers had failed to find, being curious and all. Well, Curiosity was expected to hunt for signs of life, or at the very least, show evidence that it was habitable. Before it made its first drive after landing on Mars, controllers on Earth ensured that its path did not contain any hazards. It wouldn't do to go all that way only to fall apart before any progress was made after all. The rover then set out to perform its duties, which included checking the Martian temperatures to ensure that they are stable for operations. Also, it tested communications with Earth via the high-gain antenna. It took images and helped the controllers to find its exact location based on surface images and other factors such as the time it takes for signals to go back and forth. Signs of stream beds have been discovered on Mars, proving that a river once flowed on the planet. If there was a river, then there may have been chemicals that supported microbial life. Number 1. The John Klein Drill Site as recent as 2013, NASA declared that ancient Mars showed evidence that it could support primitive microbial life. This announcement was made on the 12th of March 2013. 
It was based on a rock sample drilled by the Mars Curiosity rover from a flat bedrock target known as John Klein in Gale Crater. There's a map that shows the location within Gale Crater where Curiosity landed on the 5th of August 2012. It also shows the location where the rover collected its first drilled sample at the John Klein rock. The material on the surface of the planet around the rover's landing area is able to retain heat longer in the evening than other areas. This suggests that there are differences in the atmospheric bearings. The scientists that have landed on Mars thus far have gone ahead to name areas of the planet. For instance, John Klein is found in Gale Crater. Curiosity landed on a place that's known as the Bradbury Landing Site, and the John Klein Drill Site is located within an area named Yellow Knife Bay Area. Drilling on the surface of Mars has produced samples of water that is consumable. Are you convinced that there are life forms on Mars? Do you believe the notion that we're not the only intelligent life in the universe? Do you find the possibility of living on Mars exciting? Also, check out our other cool stuff shown up on screen right now. See you next time.